there. Welcome to the Giving Flower Podcast. I'm Kimberly, or Kimber Lolly on Ravelry, Plurk, pretty much everywhere on the internet. I'm Kimber Lolly, even the geocaching site. I'm Kimber Lolly. So um, come over and befriend me. We have a Giving Flower Podcast group. We'd love to have you join. And I also have a Giving Flower Designs group over on Ravelry. So come and join us. Anyway, welcome to my backyard. It's been a while. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I had great intentions at the beginning of the summer, but um, two kids, I thought they would be a little bit more independent. They're not. We've had a great time. We've been doing stuff. Um, it's, it's easy to kind of get in the slump and not do much. The first week, maybe two weeks of the summer vacation, we worked on the house, we cleaned up, we cleaned up closets, we got rid of a lot of clothes, in fact the boxes are still in the hallway. Um, got a lot of stuff done, but um, after that, we stopped, <laughs> got in our little slump, and we're just enjoying ourselves, which is fine too, I have nothing, there's nothing wrong with that, it's just eh, not very productive, but that's okay, that's what summers are for. Um, it has been absolutely gorgeous here. The weather has been amazing. It's been really, really warm. Um, we've been out in the backyard. You're in my backyard, as you may be able to hear. And it's not the sun hasn't quite come up yet. It's supposed to get really, really warm today, but it hasn't yet. So I thought I'd run out here and do a podcast really quickly. Now, of course, my techie is on a trip. He's visiting his best friend. He took the train two days ago. Hopefully, he'll be coming back today. So he can upload this and put it on the pod on the um, website, so you can watch. And I'm wearing this tank top, which, yeah, which I made ages ago, a long, long time ago. This is one of those patterns that I bought that um, the I tried to contact the designer because there were so many mistakes in it, and she never contacted me. And so I just kind of went along with it. I kind of made it up as I went along, and I love it. I love how it turned out. So I thought I'd wear this one today because it's a gorgeous day. Um, yeah. Let's get started. I want to start with, um, I don't know if I, I talked about this on my live po- last podcast or not, but I have my lollipop bag. It's full of cat hairs, but oh well, you will have this when you have cats. Um, I want to talk about socks today, okay? Not just socks, but socks to begin with, because it has been an interesting summer. I, ha- I met, well, met is kind of funny, in Plurk. I'm also on Plurk, Kimber Lolly. I uh, met a stroller polar who is Nicole, and she is a very nice person here in Germany. She lives in southern Germany, and she showed us her shop update one day, and I went, what? You dye yarn? Oh, and it was so pretty. And then she started dyeing self-striping sock yarn. I have a problem when it comes to self-striping sock yarn because I love it. I love it. And so I'm not into socks right now. I'm not really into knitting them. But I'm knitting them anyway because I went ahead on her update and bought some sock yarn. And I wanted to show you some of it. Now this one, and it's full of lavender. I had the girls go out and get me, pick me lavender, and I've been putting in all my stuff, so it's kind of sticking everywhere. I should put it in little sachets, but oh well. Um, This is the color, one of the sock yarns, the stripy ones that I've started. And this is from her, and she has a little Etsy shop. Now, she used to have a Dewanda shop, and she's turned it over to Etsy, and here they are. Oh my goodness. Aren't those gorgeous? Look at those stripes. And I bought carbons because I went down to a 2.25 millimeter needle, and the wooden ones that I like, and I'm a double point girl, can't help it, I've tried everything, I like my double points, just how it is. But the um, 2.25 in wood break. So I went with the carbons. Hopefully these won't break. I've had too many break on me. But here are my first, the cuff on my, and I've got to get my nails done. They don't look very good. But I, here is the cuff on the first sock in the stripes, and I love it. Thank you, Nicole. These are gorgeous. So go over and visit her website, her Etsy shop. She just did a, an update with more colors, and in fact, I kind of bought another one. And I haven't started yet because it looked more winterish to me. This looks summerish. Here's the other one that I just love. And I don't know if you can see because this is really hard. I'm using my phone right now as a camera because my other camera's not working. Um, here's her little emblem. It's a cute sheep 
all colorful. I think it's adorable. And her name is Nicole C. Mendez. And it's Lingo Zockenwolle. And this one is number one because she dyes them and doesn't, doesn't do them twice. So this is number one. And look at those colors. It's black with pinks and blues and purples. And I can't wait to see how this one stripes up. And she's very, very reasonable pricing, especially if you're in Germany. So very, very cool. I love, 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 love the sock yarn. The best part is she was going to come visit me in Berlin, but her husband got sick, so she couldn't come. But she had died up, and now you've got to see this. This is so awesome. Oh, and I love this one. Look at this one. It's called Kimberly Special. And I love it. Look at those colors. This is a six colored stripy sock yarn. Oh, can't wait to knit this one up. Oh, it's going to be so cool. And she sent this to me because, like I said, her husband got sick. So she couldn't come. I was really kind of bummed. I made her a bag and I sent it to her. Um, I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, so thank you very much, Nicole. This is gorgeous. So go visit her. It's NicoleCMendez.Etsy.com. So go check her out. She, like I said, she just did a shop update, and I think she had a 10% discount right now. I mean, I tell you, her prices are great, and the sock yarn's wonderful. In fact, in fact, I knit my newest shawl, and I'll show you that right now. I jump, remember? I, I don't like to have segments. I jump. It should all be spontaneous. Whatever. I just can't keep my mind on one thing for too long. Oh, the pretties. So here's my latest design. It is called the flower basket shawl. And as you can see, you have the flowers up here. I don't know if you can see that, but maybe you can. The flowers here, and then the basket with a braid in between. So you've got two colors, and she dyed these up for me. I asked her to do a purpley blue with a brown for the basket, so you can really see the difference, and I love how it turned out. In fact, I could put this on. I don't know how it looks with the purple that I'm wearing, but it's a great size. It uses two skeins of sock yarn. In fact, you can tie it around the back. I did that the other day. I was wearing it around because it was a little chilly out. Here comes the sun. It was a little bit chilly out, so I was wearing it. And um, I hope that's okay and you can still see me. I think you can. Um, and so I was wearing it around like that. So this is my newest design and the patterns being tested should be available soon. In fact, I'm knitting the second one, but she dyed this yarn for me, which is gorgeous. It was wonderful to knit with. This is, she said this was a merino silk. Gorgeous. And hopefully she'll have some kits up in her shop. We'll have to see when this goes out. But this is the flower basket shawl, my newest one. And in fact, I'm knitting another one with yarn over Berlin yarn. Here she is. And this one's purple with a dark gray. And we'll see, and I'm on chart D which is the last chart, and I'm halfway through. I'm kind of hoping to get this done today. So once I finish recording, this is gonna be worked on. We'll see. So those are the things that I've been working on right here. I have another design, and if I find it, I'll show it to you. Um, it's coming, it's coming along, but I wanted to finish this flower basket shawl first um, before I show you the other one. And my socks are in my little lollipop sock bag that I bought. And I bought this one, it was on sale, and her name is Lily, uh, wait, 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 I wrote it down. Little, little Hip Kitty. She's really, really nice. I've, I've chatted with her because I wanted a bigger one with the lollipops, because I'm Kimber Lolly. It's gotta be a lollipop. And it's a Tootsie Roll, and I can't just to look and see. I can't get this fabric here. So, if you can get the fabric, I'd love it. Send me some. Send you a pattern, something. So, this, is my new sock, sock bag, my lollipop bag. I'm Kimber Lolly, what do you want? It's gotta be, so Tootsie Roll pop bag. Um, but that's what I'm working on, and that's the socks. Another thing, talking about socks, speaking of socks, I um, got in touch, in fact, on my plurk, I have, um, there's another podcaster. Her name is Arielle, and I think her blog, her I've got to put glasses on. It's too sunny. Sorry. Her podcast name is, um, not her podcast, her Ravelry name and her plurk name is Stariel. And she has a audio podcast. 
And I love my audio podcast because I'm always, I run, I've started running again. I, whenever I work in the yard, whenever I work in the kitchen, anything, I have my podcasts on. And I'm always listening to knitting podcasts because it's, it's my connection to my people. I love it. And she contacted me and said she has a new podcast. And it's a really quite fun one. She and MJ do this podcast together. And they talk about socks. She is a sock designer. She's been published. She has, I think she said she was writing a book. She's got another book coming out. She has a bunch of patterns over at her podcast, um, over at her Ravelry page. So go check her out. It's Starielle. And we have decided, she contacted me and asked if I wanted to join in on a contest with her. She has five episodes of her podcast right now. And... We are going to do a contest where you can win one of my patterns, I think, and or one of her patterns. I will open up a thread. I think she might have opened it up. It's been a while. I've wanted to podcast for a while. I just haven't gotten to it. Um, we'll open up a thread, and we'll close it. I'm going to say at the end of August, and we're going to pick five people to get five of my patterns and five of her patterns. So you might win a pattern. So go ahead over there. Um, like I said, her it's her podcast name is Star J Knits, and it's at StarJKnits.com. So go ahead over there and just have a listen. She's fun to listen to. The two of them are fun to listen to. Um, so I will put up a thread on the Ravelry group. You've got to be a, a member of the group, a member of her group. You can join up on either one, and um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we'll be giving away some patterns because, you know, that's what I kind of like to do. And hopefully I'll have my, my pattern done soon, so this one will be another one that's, that'll be up. Um, just leave a comment. Um, what else have I done? I've, I've done a lot of sewing. I, not a lot. That's wrong. I haven't done a lot. I've got to get a sip of coffee. I'm drinking blueberry again from my Hello Kitty cup. I haven't been sewing a lot, but I've gone to a couple of birthday parties, and I think the best present is a sewing bag, especially for my sewers, because what parties do I ever go to? Knitting, of course. And so I sewed a bunch of bags to bring as gifts, and one of those went to Nicole. I hope she likes it, and I love my bags. <laughs> I mean, of course I do. Who wouldn't? <laughs> They're my bags. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've been sewing up, and I've got a new prototype bag. And in fact, I think my new design is in here. It is. Here's my new prototype. I kind of like it, and I was thinking of putting an insert in it with a drawstring. That'll come. And I think it's really kind of cute. So this is the one I've been using lately. It's kind of like my absolute favorite one, which with the owls. This one from, I think, Judy Banducci sent me this one, and I've got to sew her a bag. That's coming, though. Don't worry. It'll, it'll come. I also have to hit IKEA and get more fabric. Um, that's another thing. I'm kind of getting low on fabric that I can use. But it's kind of like a play on this one, but it's a little bit, it's square. It's not quite round. Um, so this is the newest one. And I'm going to have my techie put in a picture of the other bags that I've sewn right here. Okay. So you can see some of the bags that I've made. Um, I'm not really selling them. I kind of like to give them as gifts right now. I should sell them because I do have a reason to sell them, but I'm not going to quite yet. The, the problem is my sewing room is in the basement. It's gorgeous out here. I don't want to go in the basement. I want to stay out here. We have the pool. Oh, that's another thing. The hose on the pool got pulled too, too hard, and so it ripped, and the water started coming out, so we've duct taped it. I tell you, duct tape is wonderful. He's the best stuff. Duct tape, just checking. Yep, it's still going. <laughs> Duct tape is fabulous. It has stopped the leak. I can't believe it. So I'm really nervous about it, but my pool is fabulous. My neighbor, listen to this one. My neighbor saw that we were using this little tiny filter and we had to clean it out like every other day. And he said, Kim, listen, I have a filter you can use. It's a sand filter. They're like 200 euros, they're crazy. He said, I don't use it anymore. Here, why don't you use it? So I've been feeding him brownies and all sorts of stuff for that. So now the pool is fabulous. It's wonderful. And this heat, come on over. You can swim with me. Anyway, so it's been, it's been interesting this whole time. 
Um, today's the first day where the, where the Berliners go back to school, but we still have a couple weeks. So anyway, so it's nice and quiet. Um, this is my newest design. Look at this. I am using, I can't tell you one, Madeline Tosh. Madeline Tosh, I think light, I'm not sure. I think it is. I don't know. But it's the most gorgeous color. I don't know if you can see it. It's called Oceana, the color, and therefore my shawl is called that. And this is the shawl, it's backwards, but you will see it when it's done. And as soon as I'm done with the basket shawl, I'll be finishing this one. I've been working on the edging for it, and I think I pretty much have it. Thank you, um, Marion. She came over. I've had people have been coming over here, which has been made it really, really nice um, to hang out in the backyard. It's so wonderful here. It's just very quiet and peaceful. Birds, good stuff. So she came over and helped me decide how I'm going to do the edging. So that should be good. Yeah. I think that's about it. Um, I really, really wanted to thank Fuzzy Slipper, who was Terry from Oregon. She left a really wonderful comment. That was so sweet. Thank you very much. Your comments make our day. It's great. And in fact, my co-host, who wanted to come out here and show you, she's been knitting. She's actually been knitting. And um, she wanted to show you her stuff, but she's not coming out. Hmm. Not yet, anyway. We're home alone today. I've been doing a lot of geocaching. It's not really my thing, but it's kind of fun. We went on a bike trip. We took the train for an hour, went to Rattenau, which is a city north of Berlin, and it took us about an hour on the train, and then we took our bikes and did about 40 kilometer bike ride, doing geocaches the whole time. I think we did 57 geocaches that day, and two kilometers before we got to the train station to go home, I got a flat tire, and I didn't have an extra tube with me. so. We pushed my bike. In fact, I jogged a little bit to the train station. We got in the train and went home, and then I've got another one and a half kilometers from the, from the Regenabahn from here. And um, yeah, but it was good. It was a really, a really, really, really fun day. I was exhausted, but it was a lot of fun. So geocaching can be fun, and I do love to ride my bike. We're still working on fixing it, though. We haven't gotten that far. We also went on a it's called a lost place, where um, you know a place that hasn't doesn't isn't being used anymore. It's called a lost place, and they had a mega event here in Berlin. And I don't know how many thousands of geocachers came to go to this geo event, uh, geocaching event, this mega event. And we went, of course, and spent the day. And I was exhausted. I don't know why. That wore me out more than the bike trip. Go figure. And I bought two geo coins, one cross that has a number on it, so if you see me, you can write down the number and find it. And I also bought an Oreo cookie. I'll have to show you those next time, because they're inside. I didn't bring those out. And um, I don't know if you've noticed or anything, but um, I do have a guest. I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I don't know if you can see my guest who's with me today. This is my new spinning wheel. Now Julie, who's in my group, in my knitting group, she's one of my, my girls, she, um, she fa she's, spinning is not her thing. So she had this at home and wrote an email to all of us and said, don't want it, who wants it? And I went, oh my gosh, I want that. And it's a Cronsby minstrel, and I love her. She and I get along really, really well. My old spinning wheel has had problems, and I've had to have it looked at, but I haven't yet. Um, so, I haven't been spinning in a long time. And now that I have my Crosby, Julie came over last week and she brought her with, it, with her. And we're doing a swap of, of some kind. I just bought a spindle from Highland Handmaids. And that should be coming. And Julie is now going to try spindling because it's something she can take with her. And she doesn't have to sit at home to spin. So she's hoping, we're hoping, that with a spindle she might have more luck. So I've got a Highland Handmade spindle on its way for Julie and I am spinning up right now. This is what I did last night. I did, I don't know if you can see it because I can't see what you can see, but um, I've got some red and this is merino, just, just a merino on here. And this is what I have done so far. It's just red and I'm just getting used to her. I don't, it's a little thick and thin. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but it's quite a bit on here, and I'm just going to do, 
I've, I've cut the, I think it was 120 grams, and I cut it in half, and I'm going to spin half of it, and then I'm going to ply them together. I love to ply. Plying is my favorite part. So I can't wait to get there. I, I did this last night, and I'm going to do a little bit more today. Got this much more to go. Not much. And then I'm going to ply the two together. But she is my co-host today. This is Agnes, by the way, is her name. That Julie named her Agnes. Got to keep it. You cannot change her name. She would be very upset. But she's super happy with me. She seems to like it. Even Julie agreed that she was very, very happy at my house. And I'm absolutely in love with her. And, in fact, Heather from Highland Handmaids has the same one, which is kind of neat. And I asked her, oh, my gosh, you've got to show me how to do it, how, do you, how, you, how you spin. Um, and I'm hoping to get some, some, um, some roving from, from her at some point. So we'll see. So that's, that's pretty much what my weeks have been. It's been three weeks. <gasps> I forgot to show you my... Um, I, I finished my peacock. I also finished my peacock. I'm going to write that down for next time because I am hoping to go to Peacock Island this week. And we're going to take the peacock with us. And I will do a little bit of a video on Peacock Island to show you what it's like because it is really a neat island. Good. Just want to make sure we're still recording. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's been, a, it's been a busy three weeks. I think it's been three weeks. Crazy. Um, and I've missed doing podcasts, but at the same time, it's hard. It's hard to sit down and, and write up the show notes and get everything ready. So, what should you do? You need to sign up for the podcast, the Podcast Ravelry Group. Head over and listen to Star J Knits podcast, because it's a fun one to listen to. The two of them are really cute together. And leave a comment. You might be able to win something. And, yeah, that's about it. I hope you're having a wonderful win summer, winter. Well, you know, in Australia, sure, winter. There you go. Um, and I will hope to podcast again next week. We will see. Next week, I hope to see Martina Bem. I'm going to the yarn, um, one of my local yarn shops is hosting Martina Bem, and I am signed up. So you may see her next week. We'll have to see. All right? So have a good week, and keep spinning. Oh, German word of the day. Spinnen. Spinnen means to spin. And a spinne means I spin, or it can mean I'm very crazy. I'm crazy. Ich spinne. A lot of times that's like slang. They say, ich spinne. So, I'm crazy or I spin. It's all the same, right? Well, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye! Um, yeah, my guest came. My co-host, not my guest. Sorry, I lied. It's not the end. And by the way, I just washed my hair. That's why I look so crazy. Um, I washed my hair and came running out here. So um, I wanted to let you know my co-host is here today. And she just wanted to show you a little bit of, some, of what she's been doing. So go ahead. You're, it's your turn. Okay. I was, I'm still working on my monster. Not done yet. And, and what monster is it? What was it? Uh, the computer monster. Okay, and this hurts my hand. Oh, bony butt. Okay. Okay. I made a hand, and then I made the body. Or, well, first I made the body and then the hand. Hang on, I gotta get my leg up. Oh, it's falling asleep. Okay. <laughs> there. Okay, that's the body. Okay. And I'm working on the. And you can show it back here. Oh no, it. Because then they can see yeah. the whole thing. See, like this. See, we can't see what we're we're showing, so it's kind of hard for us. But this is the body, and this is one of the hands that she's. Finished. And this is another hand. Another hand. And I didn't start a leg yet. You haven't started the leg yet. No. Okay, and she's using. Light blue and dark blue. Is it merino? I think this is merino. Wait, I have the. Ball band. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. What, what are you using? Soft merino. Yep. Super wash merino. With double point needles. There's always a bug crawling somewhere. Double point needles. What is it? Uh, 3.5. Millimeter. Millimeter. Yeah. So that's what she's been doing. And we just wanted to show you, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for showing us what you're doing. Oh, I'm so glad she was on with me. <laughs> okay, 
thanks for watching again, and hopefully we'll be back in a week or two. Are you going to be on with me in a week if we do it next week? Uh, maybe. Maybe? Yeah. 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 Sure yeah. 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 Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.